So I'm going to finish off this, the harvest of this field, and then we'll go and have a look and see if we can get a TMR mix together and maybe buy a few cattle to end off the episode. I don't want it to just be about the harvest, this whole episode just being about the harvest, this harvest, although it's been pretty interesting in the two different types. The use of the new silage silo and of course we have to be getting quite a bit of straw from this as well so I just get this little bit here it's not going to be much but while we're turning around we might as well just do it Yeah, I, I tend to be harping on a bit about it, but about the strange shape of this field and this field behind here. What I'll do is I'll just jump out quickly after this and just give you another little show. Of what I'm talking about. go up and have a quick look around. Yes, yeah, so if we go out this way, so you can just see how this, this other field just wraps around it, but it's a huge field. Going all the way down there, could maybe even enlarge it on that boundary. Can we, I wonder? Could be that that might be the map boundary, but um, yeah, so I think it'll be a good investment for 600,000. And then we can split it along the ditch and make that top half part of that of the of that field there of the field that we had the wheat in and the bottom half from the ditch running across to where the pond is all one huge field down this end and I think I think that could be very productive. Right, let's get back to work. Yeah, that whole idea is now just completely transfixed my mind. I'm going to phone the bank manager. We're going to do it. Just before we stop, let's just have a look and see what's on, on this field. It's barley growing there. It does mean I'm going to have to sell, I'm going to have to sell all our product just to, just so that we've got money to service what is going to be a huge, huge loan. This is going to pretty much take up the bulk of our credit line. I do want to have just a little bit of a backup on the credit line just in case. But I would think once that barley field comes in, it will get close to maybe not playing itself, but uh,
we will of course have to wait till into the next year for that to for that crop to mature so I must make sure that the crop that we plant in t into this field will be harvested more or less at the same time so that we can deal with both fields together and the top half we first have to see what happens with the alfalfa how it grows out with the um, with the loading tracks on it I think that I think it I think that'll just mean that for the crop to be the crop is growing at two different level or two different stages let's put it that way so we could do one of two things we could just let it grow out as it is now and just accept that we might have to wait a little bit longer before we before we harvest that uh, the next load of al alfalfa or we can put something like a roller onto it I would think I don't know whether that'll work uh, you see um, you know the the rake didn't work so I don't know whether a roller will work or just roll it flat or so I'm just going to let sleeping dogs lie on that one we'll see what happens in the next couple of months as it grows of course got the winter months to go through which I don't think we're going to be doing much just hoping to have enough going so that we can look after some cattle and just keep our hand in a little bit during the winter it's going to be very much a touch and go situation I'm wondering whether I should delay I think I'm going to do that actually I think I'll delay buying this wraparound field until after the winter because while I was talking about there I just thought to myself well, what happens if um, if we have huge expenditure if something goes wrong during the winter we can have to um, and we are unable to meet our loan repayments Yep, it's a bit of an issue, I think. Right, so that's that full, but I think we've got enough space in our combine now to just go and do the tidying up. And we'll have to finish off the baling. pick up the bales of the field I think I'll do that off camera what we'll do is we'll just finish this off go and offload these the harvester and we'll offload the the last trailer and then we'll go and have a look at what we can get for the crop that we've harvested once again it might be worthwhile just hanging on again for a couple of months um, yeah I think let's say well, let's just wait and see what the what the pricing is like 
I know this is not the best time to to buy um, at least to sell crops it's just that time of the year isn't it everything has been harvested so there's plenty of supply of everything I did say we would get this line I need to take such a long run up for that? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about that one just stuck on its own there. Cost more in, in fuel just to go back and pick that up. It's probably five litres or something. another little thing I want to see if we can offload directly from from the harvester into the into those augers we should be able to if we get the positioning right otherwise I'll just keep it here for refilling the trailer when it comes in Look like it wants to. Yep, it does. Good stuff. <laughs> I would have been disappointed if it didn't. It's all floating nice and quickly. Let's go put this in the washing area. We'll do the washing in that offline as well. Just want to put it here so that I don't forget to do it. get this in and we can have a look and see how much we got it's been a fairly productive field actually so I think the um, the fertilizing of this field was was good was worthwhile I don't know for sure, I should have should have checked it out, but the other thing that we can have to do is we're going to have to put we're going to have to at least fertilize the um, the alfalfa field I think. I'll need to go and have a look at that, I'll have a look at that before we end off today as well. Maybe we'll go fertilize that for a bit of variation today pouring just short I thought I'd adjusted that in case it's going in it's not a serious problem it's just about empty yep
Take this to the washing area. So we'll just pop over quickly to the alfalfa field. Oops, where are we going? Oh, we want to put a bit more feed into there as well. So I can put a bit of nitrogen in there. It really needs to be limed, so it's still... Do we have a lime spreader? I don't think we do. Let's check. Uh, so we got titters, mowers, fertilizers. Does the fertilizer spreader take lime as well? I think it might do. Yes, it does. But we'll definitely have to go and increase the size of that too. Let's just have a look at that again. Oh, what did I do there? Yeah. That's 3,900. I know they can be expanded to 10,000. So I think we'll we'll do that. There's probably fertilizer in there at the moment. We'll just offload that fertilizer first. So I think we can do this with the case. Let's have a look and see. I don't know whether the case will be able to do the 10, will be able to carry the 10,000 litres. Might need to get a front weight for it. Oh, we are empty. Oh, of course, I put a bit of fertilizer on there. On the, um, it was like 50 or so liters left. But let's go and get this increased in size first of all. Let's go and put a bit of a extension on the bin. There's a lot in you. <laughs> there we go. Uh, customize. Decals capacity. Extra large. So it goes up to 10,000. Right. Okay, so what we did want to do is have a look and see what we got in stock in terms of the corn pricing. I thought so we've got 104,000 litres of corn and 79,000 litres of Seventy nine thousand liters of wheat. So one, two, four, 
wheat and corn one three I think that's a good price let's just compare that to um, to the local market wheat is at 1000 odd corn is oh, it's a big it's a big big margin on the corn yeah I think we'll do that so I think we'll go into the export market Corn, where are we now? One three one six per thousand liters. Sell it. Sell it all. One oh four seven two three. Yep, that's it. What do you think? Should we wait for wait on the wheat? That's the. It's pretty much as at the top end of what we can get from. Um, so look at wheat. One two twenty one. as close as we can get really gonna get we can get that sold now it's often good on the export market in the in our harvest months sold a whole lot as well 79 96 95,000 delivery price yeah I mean it does cost something but it's n nowhere near what we're making I'm quite happy with that especially considering that we hadn't there we go we're looking a lot better now 265,000 gonna see us through the winter now might have to buy a plow as well so we can plow up the or a cultivator no we've got a cultivator and plant those other fields but first of all let's go and uh, uh, lime the the alfalfa field couldn't couldn't remember where I was getting there <laughs> uh, right Let's get some lime bought. Lime. So it's two thousand, we've got ten thousand to fill up, so we need five of those.
going to get a front weight for this just um, because it really should have one on um, 900 kilos one point I want it so that it can you can add a trailer onto it. I'll get that one there. Right, that's that's full. Let's get the weight on the front. Right, let's get started. Not sure what this is gonna do. What width this is going to do. Let's have a look. Spreading a nice width for spreading a very nice width with uh, for lime. Let me start that again. It's doing a really nice width for spreading lime because quite often the spreading width gets reduced on lime spreadies. Oh, I've got some grass bales still down here. Oops, don't want to go too far in there. Yes, doing a decent job. It was well worth the money that I think. Three thousand to increase the the holding capacity. I mean, I still think we're going to have to go back once more, but for lime. This size field, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Right, we're back again. As you can see, um, finished liming that field the alfalfa field. We've uh, finished off the corn field, we've picked up all the bales. We've still got those grass bales to go and pick up sometime. But I want to go and have a look and see if we can... Well, let's look first of all and see how much silage we've got. Right, here we've got got 10,000 litres of silage. We should be able to get a TMR mix done. We've got another we've got three, bale, uh, three pellets each of tomatoes which we can get back down sometime. Well we're gonna wait, I, th I think we said we're gonna wait till they fall till the till there's a reasonable amount to take down. Let's get this back up to the so 
what I want to do is I want to put a, a bale of hay in. Well, first of all, I'm going to go and get a, a bale fork. I've got the big one that can take four at a time, which you can use for feeding straw or putting straw and and uh, bales into the sheep. But to load the TMR wagon, we're going to need a bale fork. Yep, we're going to get that one. Oh, it'll help if we put the front end load on. <laughs> We could uh, try and hook up that bale spike till the cows come home, as they say. <laughs> uh, if we don't have this on. Oh, I didn't tell you, did I? Um, I have made one fairly major purchase offline. I'll show it to you as we go back. You may have noticed that um, as we were driving past there, well, I think this tractor was parked next to it when we first started. Let me show you quickly. Yeah, so there it is there. It's the agro stack or the auto stack should I say. It was ninety thousand, so not as cheap as a bit of kit. It takes fourteen bales. And it's very efficient. Right, so let's get a, a bale of grass out. 6,000 litres. We don't want to take 25 out. Just one. It is there. We can put that into I wonder if we can get up to the roof with this. I don't think so. to wait till we eventually get a telehandler to get those off. <laughs> oh dear. Oh we should have taken hay out, not not grass. Let's put this back in. Try again. Grass, alfalfa, hay, there we go. Yeah, that's better. It's lucky I tried to fool around with the top there, that's what made me realize that we should be putting hay in. 
because I think it's alfalfa hay sitting on the roof. I eventually do want to get a telehandler. I've, I generally find that tele, telehandlers are, are better for working with the forage wagons. Just gives you a bit more scope, generally speaking. Uh, this is not too bad. So we are 32% full, so I think we can put some Twenty nine per cent, forty six per cent. Sixty one per cent. We'll just put a little bit more of the silage in. Get it up to seventy per cent. There we go. And get a straw bale out and top it up with that. So I'm not going to put mineral feed in simply because I don't believe that it gives you any benefit in the milk production. I think if it did it would be worthwhile, but otherwise it's just a cost. Um, what did we need? We need straw. Yeah. Straw bell, square bell. It's not going to take, I don't think it's going to take the whole bale. This is 8,000 litres, this, this bale. So we've still got about 2,000 left on that. I wonder if we can put this back in. Yep. Sure can. First time I've tried that. So let's, let's go and see how that shows up. Does it shows a separate yeah, it shows up as a separate bale. So if you look at the bottom right hand side, you can see there square bale straw 2100. That's neat to know. Just must bear that in mind that we've got that in there. 
Right, so we got some feed. Let's hope we'll get our milk out. The feed goes in there. Right. So I think we will get Holsteins. We'll get so we can hold three hundred and fifty. So shall we get seventy to start? Can we afford seventy? is 126,000 that's a bit too much let's uh, spend 60,000 including transport costs So, that, so we might as well get 30. 63,000, that's a good start. And uh, We'll get a bull as well. Certainly don't want 30 bulls. We'll just have one bull and we'll buy that. First things first, does this feed from both sides? Looks like it does. Grass, we don't want straw, we want square bale straw. One, two, three. Just about get knocked over every time it delivers something out of there. I just hope that the straw goes in the same place. I think it does. certainly does. How does that look straw-wise? Twenty-four thousand. So that's not even. It's not even half. I think we had some in there already. Let's get another six out. Let's 
straw should last quite a while, so... Because I'm thinking if it takes a lot... Straw, right? Three, four, five, six of them. Straw, yes. Yeah, okay. That's, that looks better. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, we'll put the last three in, and I think that should... Let's have a look and see how it looks inside. Well, we've got nowhere near full capacity, so we don't need to have full amount of straw. There's plenty of straw for the for the cars to lay down on. Where's the old bull? Oh, there he is. Magnificent beast that he is. So we've got 74,000, we've got 23,000 food. I think that should be good enough. Right, let's just put that... TMR mixer away. So now we know this mixer does 22,000. I, I could have checked it up, and I should have checked it up. Well, it's another milestone for the farm. First cattle in there. Should start getting some milk fairly soon. Well, it won't be straight away, but I mean, I just need to settle in. And I'm guessing we're going to have to think about buying a dairy. grass into the sheep. Just hope they don't all escape while I'm doing that. Generally speaking they wouldn't because uh, they know I'm bringing more food in. Square bells grass. A 
I'll just do three, that should keep them going for a while. With a bit of spare, as they say. Right, here we go. Actually, put one back in. Ay, ay, ay. Not having a good session at all. <laughs> well, this will do because they're not exactly empty at the moment, so. a lot. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, so they're nowhere near full. Oh, of course there's been the update. I've updated this so these, it, it takes more more food now than it did before. Let's just see if the let's put the um, the markers on. Ah, there we go. So we've got the bale sign again. That's what was missing the last time in the set. So that's the update done. This pin can take how many? 300. We've only got 50 in there. So, yeah. we. I don't think we need to put any more food in than that. Yeah, so things are coming along. So we've got sheep, we've got our cars going. We've got uh, all the starting fields done and dusted in terms of harvesting and um, getting the crop off there we've now got to of course prepare those fields we've got a lot of the machinery that we need to To efficiently run our farm. I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. It pretty much goes hand in hand with the last episode in that we finished off the harvesting um, And we've uh, got our cattle, we've got our cars. Let's get this down to the wash area. I forgot which way I was, to was pointing there. <laughs> so yeah, so we'll get that all cleaned up, parked away, and we'll see you in the next episode. Cheerio.